Hi, it might be the middle of the summer, but for us at Sparky Film, it's like Christmas Day because we're standing here next to the Ari Amira, very, very kindly lent to us by Ari to come and test for a few weeks. Uh, what we plan to do at Red Shark News is like a video update, see how we get on with the camera, find the picture profiles we like, see how we got on with the operation. I'd like to produce two or three little features. Uh, I'd like to produce a very short film, do some sports documentary work, and really see how this camera can suit our, our, our work style at Sparky Film. I mean, we've always, try to strive to achieve the best picture possible with all the cameras we've had over the years. So to be standing here next to Ari, which is for us the ultimate aim in picture quality, um, is just so, so exciting. So we've come down to Leon C. It's not a great day, it's quite murky, but whatever the weather was today, I would have come out just to try out this camera. We're really excited. Today, I'm just gonna try some of the built-in picture profiles. We're recording the internal cards as ProRes files. Um, and I'm gonna go back to the edit after this and have a little play at the files, but even looking through the viewfinder, which again is an, is an amazing quality viewfinder, you just get excited by seeing what you see through here. So, you know, for us this is really, really exciting and I just know that this is one camera that Rhea really, really wants to go and get hold of for ourselves. I'd also like to thank Mark and Milan and the team at Ari. I went to their Uxbridge office yesterday, the headquarters, and they, I was treated like royalty. It was a first class service, which reflects the first class quality of camera that we're, we're going to be using today. One of the great things I noticed already with this camera is the quality of the viewfinder is amazing. All the information is on here. It's really, really easy to get to. I'm just shooting the same locked off scene now and I'm just changing the profiles. This is the vibrant look now. Coming out of record. All I need to do is go into the look option on the menu, click in there. Now I'm switching to the X2 Alexa mode. Back into record. It's really, really easy to switch through the different modes. And what's amazing as well, and we're going to do this next time on my next piece, is look at the, um, we're going to look at the, the slow frame rate options. At the click of a button, at this switch, push it down and go straight into 200 frames a second, which is amazing. Uh, it's not a great day. We know it's not a great day. The light's not ideal, but it's a good chance for me to come out and just get to look at, get to use the camera. It's all about using the camera, how it works for you, how quickly you can access the menus. And so far, I'm really, really impressed. But this viewfinder is first class. One thing Ari's famous for is his amazing reproduction skin tones. Obviously the light's terrible here, but I've got to try it out on Dan. Here he is. Let's have a look at him. There he is. Make sure he's nice and sharp. Dan, look at the camera, please. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll be using more models again soon, but I mean, uh, the skin tone reproduction in this camera is legendary. And I'm really looking forward to using it in some of the short films, hopefully, I'll be making with this camera soon. There he is. Give us a wave, Dan. Give us a wave. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of my first day at the Aria Mira, and I have to say, most of all, it's been a pleasure to work with. It's a really fun camera to use. As you notice, everything I shot today is on the legs. So the next time 
I'm going to take it out in the field and use it up on the shoulder and that feels good already. See you for part two.